Plus title, a conference championship game birth, a big time bowl bid, perhaps even the alliance, but that means nothing to them for now. For four and six Alabama, one clear and simple mission is left to salvage this season. Just beat Auburn. The 62nd edition of the Iron Bowl when we come back. Tigers play host to cross state rival the Alabama Crimson Tide at what is affectionately known as the Iron Bowl, the 62nd time they will have met. For the fans, they started arriving last Sunday so that they could conquer and possess their spot for tailgating for the entire week. The atmosphere, well, it's sheer bedlam, and it has been since on Thursday evening when folks started arriving in. And across the way, Terry Bowden. Two and two against Bama. 44 wins, 11 losses, his record. Auburn won the toss. They deferred. Tackle very good. And the two, uh, well, Kendall Simmons and T.J. Dunnigan, along with Curry, getting the starts there in the middle. The running play, not one. Puts it on his hip and a play action. Has five, has ten, pushed out of bounds after a gain of 14 yards. And here comes a flag. He hit him well out of bounds. Good for 17 and now hang by for another 15. And that football picked up one first down then had to kick it away down to the 33 Simmons in the backfield there's a blocker Beasley left side at the 10 punt for the shoulder pad he'll have the first down otherwise he would have scored attempt from that right hash mark as Auburn tries to go on top Holmes is ready. Good pass, and his kick is good. So let's take a timeout. Seven minutes. Clock is still running for some reason, and now they stop it. Timeout on the field. 7.54 left in his opening quarter. It is Auburn three and Alabama nothing. Three to nothing. Auburn goes on top following that uh, field goal of 27 yards. And they continue to give Auburn good field position, but the Tigers really have not taken advantage of it. Lynch coming, swings out the pass, and he's got him. And running room. Rusty Williams at the sideline. Inside the 30, he's down to the 24. Caught him in a blitz, and it's good for 30. Got the man coverage. You see DeShave Townsend knock the ball away from Karsten Bailey. Again, a good stop by the Alabama defense. 37 yards in this field goal attempt. Ball right in the middle of the field. Good pass, plenty of distance, and he's got it. Jared Holmes, 27 yards, and now 37 yards. And with 16 seconds left in the opening quarter, Auburn now on top, six to nothing. Third down. Craig, rolling to his right, and on the run, picks poor, and it is gonna be intercepted by Sibley. What a great effort by Chris Hood, first of all. Number 34. Six to nothing. Auburn leads under eight minutes to play. First half. Kitchen throws the ball, has it complete. He's got Jackson, and he is going to have the first down, and he's loose. The foot race is on as the ball is trying to be taken away by Spikes. It would be a first and ten Alabama. Well, Freddie Kitchens has ignited this offensive football team. Kitchens drills it, has him over the middle, touchdown to Calvin Hall. That 
Arkansas had beaten Mississippi State, which means Auburn controls their own destiny to win the West. And this crowd went nuts. But so far, in the first half, as Carter breaks it out, 5, 10, and now 15 yards. He lost the football. Short, the Alabama flavor signaled that Auburn had recovered it. I think he wanted to point the other way. Yeah, he's so happy, he just pointed. <laughs> and let's check in with Carl Ravage. But you gotta hope that you can get it in here. Tucker is the holder on the extra point a moment ago. Kemp was very high and short. Low pass, he gets a better time, and he's good. He just joined us. Crimson Tide, 10, Auburn 6. Here comes the pressure. Craig going to be sacked at the 25 by Travis Smith. The second time that Alabama has gotten to him tonight. Boy, you talk about a field position swing. Crimson Tide leads it, 10-6. Green to the right. Dennis Riddle turns it up at the 40. 35 at the 30. He has the first down and almost a touchdown as he got tripped up by Brad Ware. How is that for a huge pickup of 20 yards? Freddie Kitchens helps make this play with a good acting job because he really brought everything's on his shoulders. You can see that furrowed brow just, just now when Davey on the sideline. This is the 11th play of the drive. Pitch goes to Alexander. Sean tries to turn the corner, and he will. Hurt as a man at the 5-3-2-1. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And, Mike, I have to say, as I look at this bench right here, the Auburn bench we were talking during the timeout, it's just kind of dead. And across the field on the Alabama side, People are jumping and slapping each other on the back, and they are full of life. That better change, or Auburn's going to get beat here tonight. Now it's one team playing with pressure on their shoulders, another team playing having fun. Marquise Cooper. Cooper returns. Even with an opportunity to win the West and head to Atlanta because Mississippi State got knocked off today, their arch rivals from Tuscaloosa are dominating this game ever since Freddie Kitchens came in in the second quarter. Here's a blitz. Craig gets his pass away. He's got him open at the 45, and he breaks free. Tight end McLeod in the sideline, and he was knocked out of bounds inside the 30. That may be the play that gets him going. It's good for 41. Well, when they're blitzing, and you can't handle the corners with your wide receiver. Strike offensive football team. T.J. Dunnigan out of the football. Deepest penetration they've had since back in the first quarter, I believe, as this pass is caught. Bailey on his way at the 10-yard line. It'll be first and goal Auburn. Townsend saved the touchdown. Back to the line of scrimmage. Let's see if they follow Simmons again. Beasley over the top. Touchdown, Auburn. We've got to go for two here, too. 17-12, they'll call a two-point play. Try to get it within three. Watch Beasley on this play. Bailey in motion. Blitz off the corner. The pass hit Bailey right in the stomach. I'll tell you, both quarterbacks have had a ton of drop tonight, and particularly Auburn. Whoa. It's wide open. Unattended, and he dropped it. So this is a 38-yard attempt. That's Tucker holding. Low pass from center. The kick is long enough, and it's no good. Five-point lead by Alabama, and Auburn on the move again. They fake the run. Pressure up the middle by Smith, and Craig... Gonna throw it, has it complete, Rusty Williams at the 15. It'll be a first down, Auburn. Gonna be a 31-yard field goal attempt by Jared Holmes. Good pass. Kick on the way, and he's got it. Three of three tonight. 27 yards, 37 yards, and now add 31 yards. So let's stop in a 
minimum of three or they were in hurt and they are in hurt right now 51 seconds and down to 50. Kitchen reverses it out throws the ball to Sism loses the football Auburn recovers at the 33. up with the football. And it's going to come down to Jared Holmes. Deciding to throw the screen on third down. And it was Martavius Houston who the knocked, knocked it loose. Auburn still has to get a little closer for Jared Holmes. It's going to be a game of this field goal kick right here. So here's the ball game. 21 seconds left. Holmes to attempt the field goal from the left hash mark. Good pass. Got the distance. He is good. His first career field goal attempt. I can't think of a tougher place and a tougher time. 57-yard attempt for the Alabama win. A.J. Diaz. Good pass. Ball is down. Does he have the distance? No. It is in the end zone. Short. And the Auburn Tigers have come from behind to win.